Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So to um, install the private server for 5.0, um, just open the uh, three links that are down in the uh, description section. One of them will open Cultivation. Uh, the second one will open Luna GC, and th the third one will open the resources. Now you need to have Cultivation version 1.4.7. So download the .msi one, then go to the uh, second link and download this whole thing download zip then the third one as well click on code and click on download zip okay now this will take a while um the resources is 300 megabytes so yeah and i forgot because i already have it um you need to uninstall mongodb community server so there will be a fourth link and that will lead you to this page um version don't don't touch anything okay just make sure that the platform and package is right platform should be your platform and package should be msi then you click on download then you obviously wait for it to finish downloading and to install mongodb you run its um, installer uh run and just click on next don't change anything complete uh yep 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 just click on next no need to touch anything. It will also install MongoDB Compass, which can be useful uh, for um, in some cases. Oh, and by the way, you need Java. Uh, if you don't have Java installed or if you are not sure, just go uh, to the uh, bot category inside the comments channel. Use slash guide, select Natalie and search for Java. Then um, select this one. The term Java is not recognized. Uh, press enter. Click on this download Java SE 17. Continue to download. Oh, it will download directly. Okay. And just download and run this installer. You need Java uh, SE 17 for this. I always forget to mention this. Okay, looks like MongoDB has finished installing. Yep, click on finish. By the way, if you have like any issues or questions, um, you can join Luna's uh, Discord, I will leave a link uh, for their Discord, or you can join mine and ask in there. If you will join mine, please take the uh, private server role from Channel Center Roles, it's here. And then, under the private server category, create a post and PS support and give some details like screenshots of your issue, explain your issue well and so on and also send a ss of your private server folder inside the downloads we have these three let's use the installer uh, just click on next and install then on click on yes launch cultivation finish yes okay now this is my theme don't um, worry about it i have also extra buttons just for, forget it. Um, now, yours will probably look like this. Right? Yeah. Okay, now, automatically patch RSA should be enabled. Use internal proxy should be enabled. Uh, why plugin catch is optional if you're paranoid. Um, automatically start MongoDB. I leave it enabled since it uh, can cause some issues sometimes. Also redirect other Mihoyo games, you should leave it as enabled if you are playing also on um, Honkai Star Hills private server, Lunar Core. So, game in install path. Now, to s uh, if you don't know where your game is located in, uh, open Hoyo Play. Then, come on, click on Genshin, click on this button. Uh, game settings and this is where your game is open game directory yeah this one so uh, you can now close this set your game path yep then set grass cutter jar okay now let's minimize cultivation create a folder for your um, private server then open it then open these two or wait, just extract this one first. Oh no. Actually, you don't have to create a folder. You can just rename this one instead. Uh, I'm going to do something like this now. Okay, because this one's necessary. Unnecessary. Okay. 
um, open the resources, extract this in there as well. When the uh, extraction is complete, you need to rename this folder to resources. Make sure to uh, write it um, exactly the same, way, the same way as I do or else it won't work. Okay, now let's rename this to resources. Yeah. Okay, now you can close this. Now, what you need to do is you need to first run gradlu and then gradlu jar. You can normally click uh, uh, run this by double clicking like this. However, by the way, don't uh, mind this. This is because Windows doesn't know who the uh, publisher is. It's okay. We know Luna and he or she is trusted, so don't worry. Okay, now, uh, if you cannot run it by double clicking, you can also do this. Hold shift, right click, open PowerShell. And now we, I use this, I um, ran the normal one already. So the next one is grad do jar. What you need to do is dot slash gradlu hyphen jar and dot bat because this is a bat file and then you have to wait until it says uh, build successful I think that this one takes uh, a couple minutes Okay, now you can press any key to continue. And now you can close this. Now, as you can see, it's created some files, also the jar file and no, not the config. Okay, the config hasn't been created yet. So go to the cultivation, go back to the cultivation and select the uh, jar file. It's located in your private server folder. So downloads, oh no, uh, desktop, private server in my case. And here. All right. Now this is how your settings should look like. Uh, let's close this. Let's run the server one time. By the way, if you, um, oh, all right, now this will also create some files. By the way, if you don't um, have an account, like if you didn't do this already, use uh, create account uh, username, for example, I don't know, username, and then UID is optional. Like you could do something like this if you want. Then it will say unknown comment. Oh, account create username, one, two, three, four stuff like that yeah okay you need to do this once okay if you didn't do this already do it and then close this uh, now here you will be able to see a config file uh, in there you need to check some stuff under server HTTP make sure uh, encryption yeah use encryption and use in routing should be false and then bind port is I don't know why it's like this. I make it 443 because that's what I'm used to. And make sure that questing is also set to false. Yeah. Okay. Then you can close this. Now, I think that's all. Here you can find the uh, handbook. This is the English one. So by pressing Ctrl and F at the same time, you can search for stuff like for example opulence um it's kitchen's uh kitchen's skin yeah opulence splendor here is its id and here you can see in my server there are some examples you can check the uh, ps faq channel okay now you can close this let's open cultivation again now every time you want to play in the private server Make sure your address is, first of all, of course, this is selected. Your address is localhost. Um, the port number is 443. It needs to match with the, with the one inside the uh, config file. Use HTTPS is disabled. And first of all, you run the server. You click on the server icon 
And when it says uh, when it says done, you need to click on launch. There are some errors. I don't know how to solve them yet. Um, I asked Toronium when he answers. I will also um, make some updates. I will either mention it in the uh, description section or we'll make sure to share, um, to make a post about this in the uh, PSFAQ channel or PS support, I don't know. Maybe I'll mention it in PS notice. Okay, now uh, it says done. Now you can click on launch. It should work without any problems, let's see. Now, obviously I cannot show you um, the game itself. I don't want this video to be taken down. Uh, the game will open. You will have to log in using your um, using the account credentials that you have just um, used while creating the account. So we used the username, right? I already have an account, actually. I'm going to use that one. Password can be anything. W, for example. Start game, and it worked. So. Out of the box, private servers are boring. You will have to use commands. Yeah, okay, it's working. Uh, you will have to use commands and there are many, many examples in Discord. You, if you go to the uh, PSFAQ, for example, read me Genshin Impact commands. Here you can see many, many examples, okay? If you have any questions, as I said, please create a uh, post in here. Don't ask in general chat. Let me check, double check. Yeah, I see my official dropping from the sky right now. Uh, there is an issue. The press J uh, thing, it's not a notification, but whatever that is, it does not go away. Um, everything else does. If I find a solution for it, I will also let you guys know. Alt F4. So that's it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you liked it, leave a like and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.